Yeah, you, we were just talking about this other day, but um, you know, for, for, for your question, I'm not going to make any excuses. That's not what I do. Um, but just, oh my man, I'm, I'm extremely happy to be out of it. I will say that. How many uh, double teams do you see on the ship? Uh, man, chipped at a, at, a, at, a, at an alarming rate, uh, which is expected, right? Not just me, man, our edges in general. Um, you know, we had three guys in, in the DN room alone who had double digit sacks. You feel me? So our edges are being, you know, we're being chipped at a, at a high rate, we're trying to stay shot. Pocket, which you know, or is opening up a lot of opportunities for the DTs. So things will start changing soon. As I was saying earlier, they can't block everybody. They can't double team everybody. At the same time, guys are going to start getting more one-on-one -on -one opportunities and chances. Um, and you know, everybody will be able to make plays and eat off that. I think you'll be going against Wiley again. You're going mm -hmm. against him uh, in the Super Bowl and mm -hmm. with Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what, how'd that first matchup go. With you against him and what do you this I mean, we all seen how the first matchup went, you know. Uh, I don't even want to bring up the Super Bowl. We talked, it so about, we talked about it so many times. Everybody knows what the conditions was, so we just going to let that one go. Uh, but like I said, it extremely, you know, it, it's not even about him and the matchup. Man, I'm just extremely happy to be out of the cast this week and uh, get out there with another opportunity to go play ball. Can you describe how challenging it was to play with and how it kind of changed how you were able to function? As I was saying earlier, man, you know, I don't even talk like that. I'm not going to talk like that. I'm not a guy that make excuses. Once again, I'm just letting y'all know I'm extremely happy to be out of the cast, but I'm not here to make excuses. What happened, happened. The injury happened. It is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm still going to go out there, give my full effort, no matter what condition I'm in, as long as I'm able to play. Um, but as I said, I'm finally out of my cast, and I'm extremely happy about that. So that it's just week three, we're still climbing. Where do you guys see yourself kind of a part of this development stage and decides new defense? Uh, you know, we like you, like he said, we still climbing, we still learning. Um, you know, we had he, he's a new DC, so we're you know, everybody's still getting settled in and familiar with his scheme. Um, you know, not only that, we have a, a, a many new pieces than what we had from last year. So still working on the chemistry of it and all. The, the great thing about it is that we've been able to, you know, set our standard on tape still. And that's the best thing about it. Even though we're still working on these other components, we're still playing Eagles defense brand of football. And, and that's the best thing about it. BG was just saying that he sees Fletch balling out there. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know, these young guys are coming because mm -hmm. they're on his butt. Mm -hmm. How much do you see a competitive of spirit with the young guys coming in with everybody else on the line. Everybody's got to keep up. Everybody wants to, mm -hmm. you know, you want to do well. Mm -hmm. uh, and you see these other guys doing well. Uh, I, you know, it's, 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 it's the, you know, the nature of it all, right? It's just a, it's the, uh, I guess, a normal response to it. Um, but, you know, competition breeds for great things. Uh, you know, it gets everybody working hard. Um, and when everybody's working hard, everybody's getting better. And, and that's when you see, that's when you see what you see, right? Young guys out there balling, like, uh, BG said, Fletch out there balling. I seen something and somebody was like, man, Fletch out there looking like he's 26 again. So, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's a great thing. Um, not saying there's anything wrong with Fletch or anything like that, but competi competition breeds greatness. Um, and, and that's pure, and that's, you know, that's pretty what it is. Number one again. Uh, like I said, you know, we we just continue on our brand of football from last year, you know, la uh, last year early or like, you know, early to midway through the season. We had a cut. I wouldn't even say early midway through the season. We had a little bit of issues with that. Um, you know, we had brought some guys in and uh, really buckled down on that. The thing about it here was, you know, hey. You know, last year was a great year. We was able to get all the sack production production, and able to rush the passer because of what? You know, being able to stop the run. Um, so as long as we keep everybody healthy um, and, and keep that mentality, man, we could, we could keep doing what we like to do. Sam Howe, uh, sacked nine times, threw four interceptions last week. What's your take on him? Uh, you know what? He's a competitor. You know, I see him. I mean, yeah, he might have got sacked nine, but, you know, they, they playing. You know, they're going to play they gonna play hard against us, too. NFC East opponent, first one for us. And so um, I know that it's going to be it's gonna be electric in the link at 1 o'clock, and, and we just got to come out and, 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 and be us. You know, it's all about us. It's like, for them, I'm sure it's all about what they do. It's about what we do. And so we got to make sure we go out there and take care of our business and, and uh, execute on that day.
you still think about last year and that loss, even though it was only three yards a clip rushing, but they controlled that clock on you guys? Yeah, you know, but last year was last year, man. Like last year, you know, a lot of the stats of what we was as a defense is, is flipped now, I feel. You know, they ran the ball. They managed, to, they managed the game a lot more. And, you know, I just feel like we a lot better in the run game than we was last year. And, you know, we're still working on other things too. But, I mean, it's a it's an uphill battle for everybody. They ain't the same team they was last year either. So we just got to make sure we go out and execute uh, whatever the side, whatever the game plan is, make sure we go out and, and do exactly what we're supposed to do and, and, and show our personalities and our, our athletic ability on everything else. So, yeah. Three weeks in to uh, defense, how do you think you guys are kind of settling in and really getting a grasp on this concept? I think it's just, you know, it's all about believing in, believing in the system. And people – I've, we already know that we believe in it, but it's like it's cool to see people making plays, and that started to grow even more. The confidence of, all right, like he called this. It don't matter what he called. You know, we we just know that he putting us in position uh, to make a play. So I know that the guys, you know, trust him. They trust us. Uh, uh, the people, especially the leaders of the, of the D. You know, um, whatever we do, I mean, we just show them out there at practice, and then everything seemed to carry well to the game. So. Just trying to make sure that we, we keep leading the way, uh, letting them know that we believe in what's going on. And now I feel like everybody is really starting to see, um, you know, just stuff starting to come together at the right time. What's it been like watching uh, Jalen and Jordan produce, especially since you, you know, personally have been pouring a lot into this game? It, it's cool to see, especially Jordan, because, um, you know, him being here first, first um, with him and Dean, Nicobe, they had a, a year under their belt already. And so that was a year for both of them to kind of learn because uh, Jordan was just coming along, uh, and then he got hurt. And then now I feel like this offseason has just been all about once he knew he had other Georgia guys coming, it's about making sure that he lead the way because, I mean, I just feel like they feed off each other. And that's what I love. I mean, even I know Keely even probably licking at the child because he see the guys out there balling like they was in in, um, in Georgia. So I just tell them boys, keep keep feeding off each other, keep keep motivating each other, keep bringing each other along, and you know follow the right ones because at the end of the day, like I told them, they should be both of them should be commanding a lot of money. Well, you shouldn't be on the same team, but I mean Howie Howie is a magician, so he might make it work. <laughs> How competitive are they? Like Jordan sees Jalen come in here. And, and shine. So mm -hmm. how, how competitive do you think they are, especially everybody on the D-line? As a man, if you even if you don't see it, everybody want to look good. I mean, you know, you don't want to look bad at all. And I know for Jordan coming in, he don't want to have that label. I know, the, I know all about it. You know, he don't want that. And like I told him, you shouldn't because you you are in a great place. You got some great vets and great people that you can you know learn from and on top of that you bring you bring something to the game anyway so let's tap into that let's keep getting better on what you're strong at and let's keep working on the stuff that you ain't as good at and I, I felt for him he the conditioning like the conditioning this year has been great now he can turn and run and he can be himself every play and then when we got other guy come in Jalen uh he come in to relieve him I mean, it's just like not a drop off, and then eventually they're gonna be in together. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think it was just more about just getting that first year under his belt, kind of know, knowing what to expect, and now it's just about everything slowing down for him and him going out and be him, being him. So I'm loving it, man. I'm really loving the uh, progression from both of them. It's about getting better every week, and I think they've been doing that. Obviously, you and Fletch have shown them great leadership. But have you taken anything from their game? Do you see these young guys running around and feel like a little rejuvenated too? Heck yeah. You know, I see Fletch even, you know, going out there balling because he see them boys on his butt. Just like, <laughs> I know for me too. I'm like, no, you know, even me being in year 14, I know I ain't got long left, but I ain't going to make it easy for you either. I'm going to be working just like, and they motivate me because I know they're the ones up and coming, but I want to show them how, how you practice, how you do stuff. Like, just how you supposed to take care of your business so that when I come back, I'm like, hey, hope y'all boys doing the same thing I was doing, passing it on, because that's the only way you're going to get better by, you know, opening your heart to, you know, just want to see somebody else win too. On top of that, when they win, you win too. And so when people realize that, you know, you got to be unselfish in this game. It's a team game. And when your team is playing good, eventually your play is going to come. You're going to make plays. Just make sure you're ready for them. And so I try to block out the, the, the noise, the, you know, yeah, I might not be playing as much, but I love being able to pour into the young guys because I have my time, you know. And if I do get a moment where I get a sack here and there or a strip sack, I love that, whatever. But 
right now I'm just more focused on trying to make sure highs and the guys is ready, you know, making sure that they stuff that I see, I help them out like, hey man, oh boy, he's trying to hit you like this. Just give them little pointers on stuff, but man, I just want to win. Just want to win one, you know, win another one. And so I'm just pouring into them guys, man. That's all I'm doing. Are you also staying really fresh for? Oh, oh yeah. You know, that you know I'm staying ready. I'm staying ready. The second half of the season, kind of mm -hmm. thing. Like you know, you'll be fresh when. I love it, man. I love that. Right now, I feel like I haven't played too much of of a, of a season, even though I played some, some plays. You know, it's just. I just, I just feel like I'm, I'm waiting. I'm the ace in the hole waiting, waiting to be played when it comes. And I feel like it's going to come at the right time. And I know for me, I'm just enjoying every moment of it because we already in October. Time is floating. We in week four. We just started. I was like, dang, we just was getting ready for who was our first game. I can't even remember. That's how fast it's going. New England. New England. Yeah. Right. Feels like forever ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's like just trying to just keep, keep the smiles up. You know, just keep on enjoying the times and, you know, whatever happens, happens. You guys are leading the league in rush defense. What is really clicked for this group, especially up front? So basically, it's up front. So you got the hogs in the middle. You know, when you got them big boys in the middle, I mean, we've been healthy on the line. I mean, that's where it starts. It starts with the knockback. You know, them boys being able to knock us off or us being able to knock them back. And for the most part, we've been knocking people back. So you just got to keep that up. You just got to keep that mindset of, you know, putting hands on people and uh, making sure that we – give ourselves the best shot by working our technique that we work every day and uh, just going out there and, and making sure that you 100% being able to go like you go. Like that's start, come with the condition and making sure that you in the best shape. And when you're not, when you're tired, just know you got another guy that's coming in that's ready for you. So don't be afraid to just run off because we got him. The success you guys are having, I don't know if you like tush push or brotherly shove, I don't know what your favorite name is for it. Probably Brotherly Shove, yeah. Brotherly Shove, uh, it fits better, suits better. Um, Twitch Push is, I don't know how he came up with that, but uh, it's definitely it's definitely not why we're converting, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. so, so all this success you're having with this, um, you know, you hear Chris Sims now saying, if I'm a defensive guy, I'm going after Jalen's head, trying to kill the quarterback. I mean, what, where do you think this is all coming from? People just jealous of the success of the, of the play? I've no, I have no idea where it's coming from. I don't understand why people want to wish it will, Ill will upon anybody. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe they couldn't run it as well as we are. Maybe they didn't have the airline uh, like we do, um, or the technique. You know, everyone thinks you just dive on the floor, but it's it's a lot more than that. And it's probably why we're very successful is that we talk about technique and and how to execute. Uh, against different different looks because everybody just thinks oh you know we just dive and then the two guys push push Jalen for the first down it's a little bit more tech, more technique involved than, uh, than just a push push yeah. one other question for you the uh, I thought you were going to go brotherly shove brotherly, brotherly shove right, yeah I'm just saying you know for the haters out there <laughs> <laughs> they know it as a tush push push tush whatever it's called uh, but yeah let's, let's start a new start a new name for it brotherly shove is, is a good one from this day on from this day on so uh, the other question is about this front that Washington has you've got a bunch of former first round draft picks what makes them so challenging on that front I mean like you said they were drafted in the first round for a reason um, great players they're great players tough they have a bunch of moves. They're smart. They're not. They're, they're full motor. Like you got to give respect to this D line. If you don't, they're gonna make us make us all their fools out there. So, you know, that, that's really it. You got to give your respect because, like you said, all the first round picks, the whole line, and now we're just going uh, going to come up with a game plan and, and you know put our best foot forward and be the aggressor and just go out there and try and block them. <laughs> and, and Dallas was talking about first three weeks seeing a lot of exotic stuff disguise uh you know things like that don't know what's coming sometimes is this more of a defense that just lines up and gets after it? the washington defense yeah 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 for sure for sure they're definitely more more tuned to just you know getting off the ball and running games trying to get sacks um yeah i would say that that's uh pretty accurate and it's, it's threatening so you got to respect that and come up with a good game plan i mean and acknowledge the skill of these guys